Lamelia Joven II, or The Best of Youth, is a contemporary film epic focusing on the dynamic between two Italian brothers and their life's journey over the span of four decades, from the 1960s to the 2000s. These decades include the turbulent events of Italian history that shape the modern life in the nation. This film is an example of contemporary Italian national cinema known as Politiske, a revision of Italian neorealism, focusing on the darker aspect of Italian life. This revision focuses on the changing traditions of Italian family and the idea of the family unit which has been redefined over the decades. At the beginning of the film, the brothers Nicola and Matteo share similar interests and passions, although each of them have their own unique personalities. Nicola is a romantic, free-spirited medical student with a passion for helping others, while Matteo is an angst-ridden idealist who is introverted by nature. Throughout the film, there is an increasing distance between the two brothers. Nicola and Matteo are brought back together during the Great Flood of the Arno River, where students, soldiers, and high-class art and history preservationists came to save the art. When reunited, Matteo is part of the army and wishes to continue on the police force while Nicola meets Julia. Julia is a passionate musician and student with strong political views with whom he follows up to Turin to study. Even though Matteo works as a riot policeman and is, and is based in Turin close to his brother, they are on opposite sides of the controversy. La Melia Gioventù strongly represents a very specific time period during the film. Anni di Piombo, known as the Leiden Years, is the given term to the 1970s in Italy, as a decade that was marked by violent protests and intense terrorist activity. While in Turin, Nicola and Giulia are part of a counterculture made up of university students and blue-collar workers of the automobile factories that were suffering. Violent protests and even more violent reactions from the riot police resulted in casualties on both sides. Including a depiction of these atrocities is very common and unique to the Politiske film, reverting to past issues and seeing their effect on modern day society. The Karate family symbolizes the Italian nation during the Leiden years, with the children of the family being divided just like the country. Matteo is committed to defending the country through the police force, and Nicola and Giulia participate in student riots. These riots are protesting the rise in price of compulsory education and the lack of organization to provide quality education to students. Nicola and Giulia have become lovers, and Giulia becomes pregnant with their daughter, Sarah. This is time in history where young people are redefining marriage and the family unit is evolving. Angelo and Adriana Carati, Nicola's parents, are bickering in the back of the cab, sitting evenly within the frame in a medium close-up of the two of them bickering over how ridiculous it is to have a child at this time with no job. Voglio vedere quando devono cominciare a comprare vestiti, scarpe, cappotti, minigonne. Già le minigonne sei arrivato. Evita poi di parlare del fatto che hanno una figlia senza essere sposati. Ma figurati, ma chi si sposa più al giorno d'oggi? Perché tu oggi non mi sposeresti più. This scene is very important because it puts the older generation in a position to question the changing times they live in and how they may be reevaluating their own life choices. They are respectful of their children's life choices regardless if they dis disagree with these new ideals. This film is an artistic outlet of political struggles and national identity that is alive and well in Italian contemporary cinema. The idea of bringing back values and reflecting on the parts of history that define the nation is very important to the Politiske film genre. The Italian film industry is very important to the artistic output of the country in modern history. It provides artists other outlets to express the political and social issues affect on the subject of art in the contemporary society. La Melia Joventù illustrates the many social and political issues of the 1960s and 70s, 
It focuses on the evolution of the family structure and parallels the changes taking place in Italian society. It makes an important statement about how Italy, like a family, can be torn apart by opposing views, but in the end is unified by pride in one's background.